Hey guys, I'm Owen from Square Balloon and today I want to talk to you a little bit about some Instagram analytics and I want to talk to you a bit about a strategy that we followed and then explain why we followed it and what we learned from it. So this is our uh, Instagram account baseline underscore collective and I'll just show you some quick information um, which make you maybe uh, think twice about how things work. So one of the things that people always tell us is how many people like comment and engage on your post makes a difference to how far it goes and obviously that does have an impact because Instagram would admit that uh, and also if you've been shared by someone very popular an influencer or something of course more fans will see it but let's just stick with engagement for now so you can see on the picture ones we can uh, we can see the stats and we can um, when we click we can see this view insights button so I'm going to focus on the pictures for now and we'll worry about videos in another um, in another video that we make but uh, obviously videos do get more traction so that is something to think about but let's just stick with pictures because you can still make some good moves with pictures and the same rule will apply to videos anyway so first things first is I'm going to show you this one's got 22 likes and no comments and where's our next picture this one 10 likes and no comments 23 likes no comments 5 likes no comments 11 24 and 4 comments so that'll be interesting because it's got comments on it so Let's start with the 22 likes and no comments, and let's view the insights. Now what we see is we've reached 84 accounts. Not really a lot, but we had 25 likes. It's kind of like three times the amount of likes is what we got. But if you look here at the bottom, you'll see from home was 69 of the 84. So 69 is um, from their feed. When they log on to Instagram, the feed that comes up, that's their home feed, and they just saw it come up in that. So that's good, that 69 people saw it without us having to do too much. From hashtags was 17, so not a load. From the profile, which means they came to our profile and then they saw the picture and clicked on it or whatever, that's another six. And uh, that's all it's got on this particular one. There is another one saying other, but it's not there. And there's location as well, but it's not there either. So anyway, so 84. So we now go back to this one. So this has 22, this one has 10. If we click onto this one and view the insights. You'd think being 10 versus 22 it might be different but this one's reached way more it's 86 and 103 are from hashtags so whereas the last one there was only like 14 from hashtags or something low um, and a lot were from the the home this one's actually got about the same from home 61 but hashtags got 103 so it made a big difference to the overall discovery 14 from the profile but three from other so other will be people sharing it to their stories people sending it in messages that sort of thing so three from other which is great that means if somebody was engaging with it um, and perhaps that had an effect on whether people saw it on the home screen but from the hashtags uh, there was 103 so let's move on to another one so this one now 22 10 23 so about the same as the first one let's see how many insights it's got 118 so more than the first one but not as much as the one with less likes and again we can see from home 82 so actually more on the home this time but way less on the hashtags only 42 and 11 from profile, so about the same. Nobody seems to have shared it because there's no others or anything like that. So it is interesting that uh, the way things jump around and how little they have to do with likes and comments. But let's move this one, only five this time. Now let's have a look. 955, so another huge jump and it doesn't really correlate because it's only got the five or six likes. And again, this one, 921 came from the hashtags. So I'll talk to you about the hashtag strategy in a minute, but um, 76 from home, which is roughly around the same as before, and 6 from the profile, which is a lot lower than before. So uh, perhaps it was posted on a bad day, perhaps it was posted at a bad time, something like that. Um, but home still got quite a lot, so you would think maybe not the timing, but perhaps the day or something, maybe nobody was looking at the profile, I don't know. Uh, but hashtags is the big one to spot from here. Uh, and so then we'll move on to this one is 11, and insights and 134 so it's dropped right down from home hashtags got a few and from profile and then let's see with the one with the comments and so 258 so 258 116 from hashtags so not bad but not 955 but quite a lot more saw it on the home screen almost double saw it on the home screen with a few more comments i don't know if that's the only thing that made the difference but if you were to do very very basic uh, analysis you might come to that conclusion but 48 was from other so 48 
is a lot bigger than before so obviously this has gone on somebody's story a lot of people have shared it um, the comments have maybe made a difference to that perhaps people have been liking stories perhaps people have you know seen it on stories or something like that uh, but it just goes to show you really that the biggest difference that was made uh, was through the hashtags so even though it's just images hashtags made the biggest difference um, they're all you know 147 between 60 and 150 or something like that and it went to 100 uh, a thousand near enough so um, there you go 1,300 so again look most of it was from hashtags it's only uh, 18 likes which is a, a nice amount for this account and five comments which is good for this account and from home 68 so the hashtags didn't make more appear on the home screen and it didn't we've got a few more on the profile and a few shared it uh, and perhaps somebody put it on the story and perhaps that's what made a difference but it's telling us it was the hashtags that made a difference so I would 100% um, look at your hashtag strategy so let's talk about what the hashtag strategy was uh, here is our hashtags what we did is we went and um, we got a list of hashtags and I just did an Excel thing so I removed the trading space uh, from the website I got them from and then I grouped them and what I did was I grouped them the first one the 11th one 21st so basically the rule was get them these are in order of the most popular in terms of how many people have used them in their hashtags for me that information is okay but not that useful what I'd love to know is how many people are following that hashtag and just because people are using it doesn't mean people are following it in fact if everyone's using it and it, Instagram tells you this one has got so many people using it you might just think well we should follow all of those people because if everyone's using it it must be right that's what a lot of people do that's not marketing marketing is when you find out for yourself so what we did is we picked the first one the 11th one 21st one 31st one and we went through all of them and then we grouped them so we could easily copy and paste it into our posts and so that these ones are a spread not just the top 10 that we consider to be most popular but a spread of them to see which ones are the most popular so now if we have a look at which one was the most popular this one wasn't it um, okay so 955 so if we look for rave or rave culture we'll find find that in our research oh, if we're just looking this column might be better there's no raver in this column doesn't make sense there must be maybe I'll take the hashtag out that's weird okay raver let's just see if I uh, find it no I can't find that it can find we can find it there but it can't find it in there maybe it's because it's concatenated perhaps um, why don't I Oh, what's that called? I'll copy it and then I will just go over here and I will just paste the values only. Okay, now let's try searching it. Okay, now it found it. So, what we can see is it's this one here. So, it's a 71st grouping that we've got. So, it's nowhere near the top. Nowhere near the top. This one would have had the first, the 21st, 31st. So, it would have had two or three in the top 30 or whatever you know you'd expect that to be the best performing one what we find is that the 71st one has got something about it now we don't know what it is because we've spread it out and we don't know which one of these is the most popular hashtag but what we do know is these are not the hashtags that are used the most but it's outperforming the ones that should have been outperforming it so now what we've done by doing our strategy is find which ones are being followed more and which ones are being interacted with more which has helped us to find out okay we have found out that it's these 10 there's 10 in each group by the way uh, because that's what's been said is the Instagram likes only 10 so now we know out of these 10 one of them could be a good one or two of them who knows but now we can start refining our tests and start using these 10 and splitting them out to try and work out which one it is and then we can find out which is actually the most popular one that gives us the most hashtag uh, return basically so I uh, just wanted to show you basically our methodology 
because I don't know anyone else who's doing it this way. Everyone else just tells me to pick the top 10 and post them. And I even see people just posting the same ones over and over again because they're the most popular, um, which is not something that we are keen on doing. We tried to do a spread of the top. How many have we got here? Uh, if we look down. Okay, so it looks like we've got, for hashtags, it looks like we've got 333 of the most popular hashtags and we've done a spread of them to get a different groups and we're trying to work out out of that spread of 333 which one gives us the best return and it doesn't mean that people have used it the most but people might be following it the most and so that's the lesson for today uh, and that's how you can get potentially a thousand instead of 60 on your posts so I hope you learned something we certainly have and we'll be refining this strategy further to try and find the best hashtags if you've got any questions please write in the comments if you like what we're doing please subscribe and and if you've got any tips we would love to hear it or even an explanation of this that you understand better than us we'd love to hear what you think thanks for watching